It's the Star Build Strike versus the Gundam X Mao. In my review of Gundam Build Fighters, episode 17. Strap in, ladies, this was a badass episode of Gundam Build Fighters. Gundam fans who are dismissing the series really need to check out this episode because it exemplifies why this series is so entertaining. If anything, Gundam Build Fighters has immense entertainment value, and I really think it's worth checking out. This episode was Mao and the Gundam X Mao going up against Saiyan Reiji in the big finals of the Gunpla Tournament. And their battle did not disappoint, it was explosively awesome, they had some really cool techniques, but the actual build-up to their battle was just as entertaining. It was basically a character study for Mao, and it was a good chance to give him a little bit of development. And the long short of it is, Mao essentially gets a big slap of humility to the face. Mao returns to see his master at the Shingyo School of Gunpla, which I still think is a funny thing to say. It's one of those things you just sort of have to accept if you want to enjoy this show. However, I love the way they portray them as sort of like these badass martial artist monks who live in the Japanese mountains who build these like badass gunpla models. But at the end of the day, they're just really nerdy gunpla fans who like to sit around, play with their action figures, and watch Gundam DVDs. And that's what's really funny about this episode. They managed to throw out some really great references in this one. I especially like the conversation that uh, Mao and his master had about who their favorite uh, female character was in the Gundam universe, with Mal's being Emma Sheen from Zeta Gundam, and his masters being Maru Ramius from Gundam Seed, who had a very nice animated cameo this week, which displayed probably her most famous asset, or assets, I really should say, left and right. Tits. Mal's master literally beat some sense into him in this very stereotypical scene where they fight in the rain. However, this gives Mal a little bit more confidence on how he's going to be able to fight against Saiyan Reiji. And this brings us to the best part of the episode, which is their battle, which is absolutely explosive because both of them want to fight. They want to give it their all. And the animators did a really great job with this battle. It's uh, one of the coolest Gundam battles that I've ever seen, personally. And I really liked all of the cool techniques that they were throwing out at each other. Like, I love how when the battle began, Mal just immediately started firing his giant moonbeam all over the place and just depleting it left and right. But because he did this, he was actually able to destroy the Star Build Strike's uh, shield, which is able to absorb energy. So this gave him a huge advantage in the battle, but this just resulted in a lot of clashes and sword battling. But eventually, it came down to both of them using their ultimate techniques against each other. And the Star Build Strike, of course, came out on top. And it uses its brand new technique, which is strikingly similar to the Shining Finger from G Gundam. You'll know what I mean when you actually see it in this episode. Uh, but still, the episode ended with uh, Mao sort of uh, leaving the stadium a little bit upset. But his spirits are definitely brought up at the end of the episode when his master reminds him. This is what gets him excited about Gunpla, is seeing all of these new people come together and battle against each other. And uh, that's pretty much the end of the episode. But it was handled really, really well. And uh, there was even a nice callback to the episode where there was that one girl, Masaki, who was running that uh, one inn that they went to. She actually came to uh, watch Mao in the battle. And uh, she loved watching him fight. She thought it was amazing. And it made sense. He kicked ass in the battle. Even though he lost, he had this one technique where he had this one massive sword that was hilarious looking. And it had this great design. It was essentially this giant beam sword that was like about five times the size of Mao. And even though he had this sword, it still wasn't able to defeat the weird Star Build Strike's Shining Finger technique. But still, it was awesome. Just other little things that made this episode good. One, the animation was good. All the character artwork was nice. And I love all of the various musical cues. I like how sometimes they'll use a really cool trance soundtrack. And other times when they're in battle, they'll mix in rock music with like violin music. It's pretty awesome. And it gets the blood pumping. And at the very end of the episode, there is a post credit scene where, believe it or not, the Thai champion Luong has been defeated by those two creepy twin guys, the Renato brothers. And basically, that's where the episode truly ends, leaving us on a little bit of a cliffhanger. I can't wait to see what they're capable of, because they've been sort of subtly hinting that these guys are badasses, but we really haven't seen what they're truly capable of yet. They're sort of like the only other team that's similar to Saiyan Reiji as well, where it looks like there's the Builder and the Battler, so I can't wait to see if they're actually going to be confronting each other. But otherwise awesome episode of Gundam Build Fighters. You know, I still am shocked by how much I actually enjoy this series. Believe it or not, it's like in my top three favorite Gundam at this point, probably number three. And to some people, that's probably blasphemy, and I, I know exactly where they're coming from. 
But I just, I love the action scenes. The characters are funny. I love all of the callbacks to all of the other uh, Gundam shows. And really, that's the best thing about the show is just all of the different cameos that you'll see. And honestly, that's why I'm really telling Gundam fans, all Gundam fans, you have to check this series out. It's a love letter to you personally. Check it out, guys. This one was another kick-ass episode. So if you guys had a chance to check out this week's episode of Gun and Bill Fighters, it's time to let me know what you thought about it with your comments below. You can tell me about your favorite moments. What did you think about the awesome battle with the Star Build Strike and Gundam X Mal? And what's going to be the deal with the Renato brothers? And before you leave, make sure and hit that like button so you can give this video a thumbs up. It's one of the easiest ways to support our videos. And you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, I'll see you next time, guys. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.